be a super user in Xero, you're going to have superpowers that will include saving time. What better way to save time in Xero than by using item codes? In this video, we're going to take a look at item codes. We're going to look at setting them up and especially we're going to look at using them when you create sales invoices. Okay, let's take a look at item codes. If you go to create a sales invoice, you'll see that there's a field for the item that you're selling, but let's look at how we can utilize that field. So we go back to the dashboard and where we need to go to is we need to go to the business menu and it's referred to in Xero as products and services. You can use the section for products. So if you were selling widgets and you were tracking them, you would use this, but you can also use it for services or anything that you don't need to track. So if you want to add a new item, you just go straight to, you've got new item here or new item there. Select new item and give it a code, make it short so it will appear in a short space on your screen. So we'll say, let's do a bathroom sale. Give it a name. So very straightforward, we're going to call it bathroom items. We don't purchase this, so we will untick. We're using this for sales. What's the unit price? If you had a set price, you can fill it in or you can leave that. We're going to leave that blank and let's go to the sales account. Click on the drop down and there's no surprise, it's going to be account 200, which is for sales of bathroom items. There's going to be VAT on it and we're happy with the description saying bathroom items. We're not tracking this, we don't have inventory, so we will leave that and we just go to save. Okay, let's just be a bit more specific and look at adding another item so you can see how you can use this. Choose new item and this time, let's say that we sell toothbrush holders. We'll call it tooth one, item name. We don't purchase. We're going to say we sell this and now we know the price. The price is going to be 25 pounds per item. Again, we know the code is going to be bathroom items and the VAT is 20%. The sales description, if that's what you want to appear on your invoice to your customer, leave it or you can add more details. And once we're happy, we save. So what we want to do now is see the benefit of that when we create a sales invoice. So select the plus and invoice. We're going to invoice Lomond Homes. The date of our invoice is going to be 31st of January. The due date, 30 days, that's fine. Invoice number 11. And then let's go to the item field. Now we have a drop down and when we click on that, we have the two items that we've set up. So if we were going for the specific item, we could choose it. Or we can go back to the drop down and just bathroom items. You can also be sneaky here and you could add a new item at this stage if you needed to. So bathroom items, so what's the advantage? We've selected that, the description has appeared, the unit price varies, so it doesn't appear. We will fill it in and the code is automatic and so is the VAT. Let's add another line. So if we had our toothbrush this time, the difference is the unit price is there. So again, we save time because we don't need to fill that in. As always in zero, it's a default, but if you needed to change it, you could. So you could overwrite that. We don't actually need that line, so we will remove it. So just to recap, we use the item code for bathroom sales. The description is automatic. The price is not automatic because it varies. And the code and tax rate, the VAT, were both entered automatically for us. Again, the description, if we wanted to change it, we can. So it's a default, but you still have the option to overwrite as you need to. Once you're happy with your sales invoice, head down and approve. And finally, on item codes, there's a nice report you can look at. So we go to accounting reports, head down to the inventory section and choose sales by item. And what you find here is if you have used item codes, your sales will appear and a list. It's great if you use item codes for all your sales invoices. Let's just head back to the month of January because there's a little bit more in zero there and update. And here are the two sales invoices that we input, one with bathroom items and one with kitchen items. So you can see 
If you were doing all your sales invoices using item codes, you would see the full list of quantities sold, total value and the average price. That's another thing you can do if you are using item codes, create a sales by item report. So that is zero superpower item codes. Always, if you like my video, why don't you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to get notified when new videos appear. Until next time, happy zeroing.